Welcome to your Inspirational Astrology Horoscope for Monday, March 3rd, 2014. I'm Astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Well, over the weekend I did my show Spiritual House Sessions, pulling tarot cards, going into the astrology, channeling it all into a house music mix. It's such an awesome show. Check out the video link down below, or you can download the MP3, which that link is below as well. And I also did my March 2014 webinar, going deeper into this month. I called it opening the portal. We are definitely in a portal here, and if you wanna find out more what this month is all about, especially the big bang coming at the end of the month, check out that link below. And yes, I just got back from the Oscars. I almost didn't come for the horoscope, but I had to set up the studio, I had to get in here, because there is such a big shift we are going through. We have just gone through a huge new moon, a, con a trine to Jupiter, these big opportunities the universe wants to show us, are we willing to paint our conscious energy now in the right direction? Or are we going to be unconscious about areas that the universe might be trying to open the doors for? That's a big question, I think, in your life now. I think the universe has shown some very powerful new observations in your life. I think that the universe as well has showed you, you have everything that you need right in front of you right now. It's time to reclay everything and make it that much better. You can now get where your future wants to go. You can now manifest the life that you want. Everything is on your plate. Now, how you put it all together, I think, is up to you. And I say this because to see Mars retrograde, to see Saturn retrograde this weekend really shows me that the universe is like, you don't need to keep building. You don't need to keep pushing things. Why don't you take a step back and see what you've pushed? You've obviously gotten into some spots for a reason. That's why I called last month coming into this month as frozen in time. Where is the universe going to freeze you at? The universe is freezing you because you've reached a position to where you can now manifest a lot of powerful things. Retreat back and see what you have already manifested. This is also interesting with a new moon trying Jupiter. This is a month of a lot of expansion and a lot of growth. And we seeded this month in seeing you know, this different, more powerful observation in our lives. And we start this week on Monday with the moon in Aries. And it's about these new starts, these new beginnings, especially with Pluto going to sextile over to the sun and Chiron conjunction. This is all about new beginnings. This is all about new beginnings that allow us to heal. Where it's almost like the universe says, okay, we put you through a lot. Look at all these new directions that you can take. You can start over, start fresh, retreat back, see what you've got, take actions differently, find more balance in your life. More importantly though, you know, I think that you've been digging deep in your truth. And I think that it's time to reflect back on all this. It's time to make sure we build on this correctly. Now that the nodes have shifted, you know, and especially gone through Scorpio and Taurus, I think we're ready to build our lives into our truth now. I think the Taurus energy is really lit up and ready to go, you know? It's, it's like we know what our values want. And that's what's so powerful at the node shifting, is right when they're done with some of those nodes, those signs are very powerful and they're very potent and they're ready to work and manifest. In our lives, I think we're ready to build in our truth and we have a deeper understanding now. Now this is kind of an in-between couple days here because number one, we have Jupiter going direct here on the 6th, so we're three days away from that, which is a big event of really big expansion and growth on the on bigger levels and you that's also the signal of a new eight nine month cycle of woohoo we're gonna be really in woohoo land here of expansion and growth and fortune more importantly though you know bigger understandings where we kind of get it mercury's starting to get out of its stationary position the logical energy starts to come back online this week we start to process start to understand understand things more on top of all that venus this is really where the other part of the story is right now. We have Venus right now at the shadow spot of Capricorn. This is where it went retrograde, 28 degrees. Over the next day, we come out of the Venus retrograde shadow. We have worked on lots of karma relationships. We have dug to the bottom of uh, you know, what directions are we taking and what are we manifesting. The universe is really signaling, in my opinion, this week as... It's time. You know what's up with relationships. The, the, the old karmic doors, I think, are closing, and I think some new karmic doors are beginning here. I think that relationships can start to finally see, especially as uh, start to see growth again and working out and, 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 and coming together in a really positive way. I definitely think that 
especially as this Mars square is starting to come off as both planets are separating, especially just give it a couple more days here and you're gonna see relationship energy really get sparked up and really change and really come into a more clear, clear picture now in your life. And I think that we have a lot to process on this. You know, what are those final roads? What are those final destinations we want? And do we have partnerships? Do we have projects in a line that really align with that now? And I think that we kind of know that today. I think that we're ready to go. The one thing is the moon does oppose Mars, which is now retrograde, which might be a little funky as we're ready to move and we're ready to move forward. We might need to be reflecting backwards to move forward, rehashing things in our life, you know, especially from the past, especially from the last couple years, because Saturn was in Libra in 2012, 2011. I mean, we are going backwards here into some old energy, but it's good energy. It's energy that we can clean up the stuff that we wanted to manifest back then that might have gone in our back closet and we're pulling it all back up and we're able to see, gosh, there's some treasures in there. There's some deep treasures that the universe has already seeded in your life to bring back up. And I think we start to see that this week. But today, it's about new beginnings. It's about healing though. The sun and Chiron, you know, don't be one of those people that go, oh my gosh, I have a, you know, look at all this crap in my life. The universe has been giving you huge opportunities to reboot here and to start afresh and to really, you know, accept that you weren't given a bad hand in your life, that the universe gave you a great hand and how you play it is up to you. And that's a big highlight today. But I also think that this is good for allowing things to go with the flow, trusting in spirit and trusting that these new directions are gonna heal you in your life, that they are gonna take care of you, that they are, more importantly, really taking care of an inner self that needed to be taken care of. The universe is there for you. There's gratitude everywhere. The universe is supporting your dreams. If you're putting them out there, Wherever you're at in your life over this frozen in time brought you to a place that you really have wanted to go your whole life. I guarantee you, or maybe you might realize that that's as far as maybe you wanted to go. And that might be a mind blow that you go, wow, this is where I really wanted to go at some time in my life. Now this is an opportunity to, as we rehash, build a broader vision and redirect what we have to now get ready to encapsulate on a portal that will take us to the newer future we're starting to unveil. As an astrologer, I know when these periods are, and that's what I've been doing to get you to this point. Today, engage forward, reset, allow these you know, things to happen in your life. And more importantly, know what you want, define what you want, and really send it out there. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com. If you have any questions or if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one reading, I'm actually going to be gone. Uh, I'm going on a business trip to Sedona for the next three days. So if you've emailed me or anything about readings and so forth, I've, I've sent out times back, but I won't get back to everybody until I get back on Thursday. I'll be out on the road for the next three days. Thank you guys for all of your support, and I will see you tomorrow.